Hi, I'm Anthony D'Alessandro from Deadline Hollywood, and we are here at the Sundance studio with the star of the short, The Court Jester, Mr. Polly Shore. I don't know if you should have your leg like that. It should probably be the it should, other it, side. It should be the other. It no, I'm, be just the kidding, other. I'm just it's, kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay. Yeah. It's just trying to be. No, I know. You know. It's, a, it's, it's very, um, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you don't know if you're going to crawl over or whatever. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. Uh, well, first of all, this is a short from Jake Lewis, directed mm. by Jake Lewis. That's that's playing here at the festival. Did you and you play Richard Simmons? Yeah. Did you know him? You're brilliant. Yeah. As him. Yeah. 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 Oh, thank you, thank you. So it's it's a big, great word to say here at Sundance. Brilliant. You're brilliant. You're brilliant. Um, you know, I'm very similar to him. I mean, you know, you know, I know it's a character, but I mean, my my past, I'm very kind of flamboyant. I'm over the top. I'm eccentric, and you know that's similar to him. I'm by myself. He's kind of a recluse, recluse a little bit. So there's a lot, a lot of that. But um, as far as you know, locking into his character, it was just uh, you know like everything that you know an actor does. You just kind of research and you watch and you kind of get try to get the cadence and try to get the feel of it. And I thought that Jake did a great job. The short just got released online. We've been um, playing it here at Park City, and um, you know it was a great acting piece. It was cool, yeah. But you had never met Richard before. Had you met Richard before? We've all met Richard in some way, shape, or form. Do you have a Richard story? Um, no, I just, you know, I, I, you know, I hit, you know, back in the day, you know, um, uh, you know, in the early '90s. So, you know, he had been in the game for a while. So, you know, when you're in the game and you're seeing, you know, I would see him everywhere. You know, I remember seeing him a lot going down Sunset Boulevard. Um, you know, in his Rolls Royce. Uh, you know, it top down waving to everyone. You know, he's just um, just a big heart, silly, goofy. You know, and 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 had a great message. You know, which is cool. Yeah, yeah. He was. I mean, it's a very sweet short yeah. that is very uh, true to him. I think so. Very true I to his so, spirit yeah. and how he tended yeah. to people. Yeah, and the and those that are not seen. Yes. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And that's why another thing is, and I know it sounds kind of cheesy and a little corny, but, you know, you know, our world is so messed up right now with mental health and, 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 and people being out of shape and, and just, you know, people are so zoned out. So I think this movie at this time is great. You know, I think this movie, I mean, not to, again, not to sound a little, but it could help really help people. I think so, because a lot of the younger generation, the TikTokers and all those people, they don't know who Richard Simmons was they just don't but his message if we can do this film and do it give it justice and do it in the right way and put his message out there i think we can really help people and then people can research richard and be like oh my god and, and we could just give him a nice you know little you know little uh you know push i think be cool yeah now we're living in an uh in an era in streaming and even in theatrical we're old as new so yeah. Has yeah, yeah, yeah. has another version of Encino Man or even Biodome mm. ever come up? I mean, we were going to do Encino Man too. We had that all going, but Brendan won the Oscar, and he messed that up because he's not going from from the whale to Encino Man two, right? That's not going to happen. Um, I think sometimes thing some things are le just left better, uh, you know, left alone. And I think you know, I know a lot of people want to see Biodome too, and but so much time has passed. And, you know, and unless we get a really good script and unless uh, I think Amazon owns it or MGM owns it, unless they kind of come come to the table with something that is, you know, I don't know, fun, because that, that's what the mov movie was. Those movies were really fun. So we'd probably have to cast my kids and and be in all that stuff. So we'll see. But I'm just happy, like, you know, I'm happy all these years later, these movies have resonated, you know, for so, so many uh and then tell us about the comedy store. You, talk about legend. Mm. You've outlived the House of Blues, mm. which was across the street yeah. on Sunset. Yes. You closed that place down. Yeah, they got the Pendry there now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, um, but t talk about staying strong and also um, continuing mom's, le you know, mom's legacy. Well, she just, my mom just really put a, her thumb you know, down on the, what the store is. And I think, you know, with my brothers and me and, and, and the family and the comedians, we just, just don't, 
as my mom would say, just leave it alone. Don't fuck with it. It's fine. You know, just leave it. So you just, she has a system. Um, Joe Rogan actually, you know, kind of took that system and brought it to Austin, Texas, because he's got his own, his room called The Mothership. And it's kind of an homage to my mom. So, you know, it's about developing comedians and bringing comedy, comedy from the younger people, you know, just to develop. I mean, that's what the store is. And, and that's what hopefully it'll always remain. Yeah. Do you still perform there? I do. Yeah. I have my one man show actually on my birthday is February 1st. And my one man show is going to be there. On, and you're welcome to come. I'll get you all you guys some passes if you want. For sure. It's going to be cool. It's January 31st at 8 p.m. And it's called Stick With The Dancing. And it's a one-man show about my childhood. So it's all the stories before I made it on MTV and all that stuff. So it's pretty interesting. Because <coughs> a lot of people, well, the people that know me, they know me from the movies and they know that kind of thing. But they don't know the, the, what I went through as a kid. And, um, and it's called Stick With The Dancing because that's what my mom said to me after she saw me do stand-up for the first time. Because I ended with pop locking and I went up to her and I'm like, how was it? She said, stick with the dancing is what she said. You know, that's like go to college. But um, I'm you know, I, I you know, my mom passed away. <sighs> what was it? Um, 2018 and my dad passed away in 2019. It's been really hard for me because I was really close with both my parents. And um, and uh you know, I say I say that there's two types of there's two lives. There's a life when your parents are in it, and there's a life when your parents are not in it, and they're completely different life. It, at least they are for me. So, um, you know, I love my mom so much, and my dad was a great comic as well. But you know, it's crazy life. You know, they had a good run. They they, they lived pretty pretty older, but um, yeah, I miss I miss my mom a lot. Yeah, I miss my mom a lot. So, heavy stuff. You know, Jewish, Jewish, Jewish son, Jewish mother. Yeah. What's next? Um, my one man show. I'm touring that. The Richard Simmons stuff. We're, we're, we're looking for writers. If you know any good writers, the producers are the Walpert organization. They're at Warner Brothers. Um, they have an office over there. And we're just looking for a great writer. We want it to be in the tone of something like a Little Miss Sunshine. So we want it to be indie, indie style. We don't want to spend millions of dollars on it. We want it to be slick but we want it to be character driven and it's i want short yeah no no the feature the, 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 the shorts out right now right. the shorts out but i want to go for the gold next year so hopefully you know if we can get a good script it's all about the script and it's all about the story so hopefully god will bring a great great writer in my in my lap and and we can um you know pay um homage to richard and, and, and tell his story in, in the right way yeah Holly Shore, the star of The Court Jester, playing here at the Sundance Film Festival. Thank you very much. And it's also online right now. It's also online it's on YouTube. On. Yeah, it's great. It's it's a 10-minute short, and it's a great cast. And Jake Lewis, the uh, writer-director, did a beautiful job. And if you want to see his other short, it is called The Robin Williams Screen Test. And it's dope. It's really cool. It's a scene. There's an actor. He plays Robin Williams. And he finds out that um, Jim Belushi dies. And it's pretty dramatic. Oh, wow. So check that out, too. But check out The Court Gesture. It's on YouTube right now. And write in the comments what you think. We just released it this morning. So, Pauly Shore, star of The Court Gesture. I'm Anthony D'Alessandro from Deadline Hollywood. Thank you. Thank you.